What's up, y'all? I'm Jacques Morel here for Netflix Talking Sitcom Legends with David Allen Greer and Jamie Foxx in the new Netflix sitcom, Dad Stop Embarrassing Me. You know, I was off in New York doing a play, and usually you go get an email. I'm sending you a project that uh, <laughs> Roger Rogerson is producing. Take a look. Get back to me. No, man, I got a text from, like, my stand-up agent was like, Jamie Foxx's lawyer reached out and he asked, would you be open to having a conversation? I called uh, David and I said, listen, man, I know you're super busy and I know everybody's calling you, but I need you. At this point in my life, I only want to really work with the people I really dig and the ones that I know that are like, like, like gods at this. I'm not used to hearing with me. <laughs> I'm usually like, well, we got it. We snagged it. We can get you in. We got a place for you. But when he came to me like that, I was like, oh, this is it, man. We about to play two uh, black sheriffs, right, that hate each other. Gonna get them out this, baby. Let's go. Tarantino going to be up in there, Robert De Niro. Yeah, I was on that phone. And James, I'm, I'm going to do a uh, sitcom. I was like, what? what? what now? <laughs> it was like a band. You know, jazz musicians that used to play together and we just getting in our groove. When he got to the set, he was already on fire. They could barely get the clothes on him. He went 12 hours straight with a very high energy pastor and them people were like going crazy. And I said, hey man, listen, David Allen Greer right now is in his bag. It's like when I went on in Little Color the first time. It was like, okay, yeah, I'm about to get on there. I'm telling everybody, homie, yeah, I'm about to go wreck shop. And then you get there, you see David Allen Greer and you're the eighth funniest person on the set. <laughs> and you're like, oh, I can't catch up. I think this is the most talented cast I've worked with since In Living Color, where everybody does so many things, are multifaceted. One of the things I kind of said to myself as I came to the set the first day, was like, yeah, it's gonna be great working with Jamie, but I really don't want to mess with these kids. I mean, you know, I'm just gonna... <laughs> As the days went on, we would sit between takes, talking to Kyla, Miracle who's another young actress on the show. These kids are much further along than I was at 16. I'll give you a name that I think Kyla has the potential of becoming Regina King. That's what I see. Mm. Potential, because she is yes. so smart and just together. Mom's nice too, it's, it's nice, it's very nice. That was really my daughter, like really seeing like this is the one who will give us funny, but also give the heart of a teenager trying to figure out life. By the time we finished the eight episodes, I remember I came to Jane and I was like, man, I'm ready to go. I'm ready to come back today. It was so much fire. fun too, man. Fire. Love fire. Fire. Yeah. Fire. fire. And I think the fun is definitely palpable. Y'all, thanks for sitting down with me today. Really appreciate Thank it. Thank you.